Good day everyone, this is Hodmas here, welcome you back to the channel. As always, wishing you all the very best. So, I'm back again with another Gamer Studio Series uh, Gamer Edition uh, from their eyes, uh, War of Cybertron range. This is number one, it is the deluxe class Bumblebee. So, we are here, as you can see, this is B looking all pretty and little yellow, he is a pretty little guy. He looks very nice, I must say. Very good, very good. I don't know why I've gone into that accent, but it's going to keep it going. But here we go. As you can see, it looks epic. I mean, I love it. It's very good. I never had the original. And as I've already done my Optimus uh, from the range and his upgrade kit, please feel free to check that out on the playlist and on the channel. But um, yeah, he looks pretty damn cool. I really do like this guy. I really do. I was really thinking, mm, am I going to like it? No, probably not. But then I got it out of the packet and I was like, oh my god, he's fantastic. I've always been a bit of a fan of Bumblebee. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? And he was so awesome. It's beautiful. Uh, Stuart Griffin? Yes. So there you go. I'm digressing like a nut job. As you can see, they give him the artificial wheel effect here in his legs on this side. So it looks pretty cool. Obviously his wheels are here, but it makes up his legs and there's that the other detail. He's got the nice detail on the arms. He's got his nice sword that he uses in the game. It's a sword, a sword. But the detail even on his fingers and everything's really good. And there's hardly any waffling, apart from that one piece on his booty. But if you're looking at the ass, you got issues if you're all about the ass. But yeah, as you can see, he has weapon storage. I will be painting B's blaster up because these extensions here should be yellow with a little highlight of red down the middle line so i will be doing that uh, and i will put pictures up on the facebook group when they are done but yes as you can see he looks very good and get me some good poses let's start with the packaging as you can see there's bumblebee his name my name is bumblebee stop lubricating the man as you can see, it says Gamer Edition 8 Plus Hasbro, plastic free packaging, except tape and glow. So then it goes Transformers, Generations, Takara Tome, and you got Bumblebee going, hey, I didn't post enough photo, fool. Mm hmm. You got either Deluxe Class, a Classe Deluxe, a Deluxe Classe, Classe de la Hulo, I think I'm pronouncing it right. And it comes with the backdrop, and it says video game inspired scale, detail, and backdrop. Def Defend Iacon. Bumblebee teams up with the Autobots to protect Iacon from the Decepticon assault. Roll out! As you can see, this guy is low on his knackers. I mean, back in the day of the boy racing days, I had some cars that were low, but damn, this boy's ripping up some tarmac. He is so low, it's unreal. Uh, 21. 21 steps to go. He's got 21 steps to go. And then he can transform. And there you go, you got another good picture there. I love this. I really do. It's very good. So let's get that out of the way. And let's have a let's get some extra light on this saucer devil. Try and get you some extra light. No, nope, I can't. My camera is being a silly beggar. But as you can see, he looks pretty cool. You know what? I'm gonna get him in the light cube. We'll get him in the light cube and then we'll get some better. Put a light on him. Hope you'll join me. Yeah. And with the magic of editing, as you can see, we are back. And he's in the queue, baby. As you can see, he's got a nice grill there. He's got this lovely orangey red going through him. He's got his Autobot insignia. I mean, just look. He's got like a metallic gold going on. It, just look at the sheen. Oh, he's fantastic. And that head skull is definite. War for Cybertron mixed with um, G1 Bumblebee. I mean, in the game, he had the red that he had there. He had on those little silver bits on his cheek. I might put them on there, but to be honest, I think I prefer his face silver like that. So I think I'm just going to probably do some panel lining with a marker, get him a bit more def definition going on. But other than that, I mean, you know, you've got your nice detail even on the forearms. You got that. And don't make the mistake of trying to rip this arm off because you'll snap it because this one is. The one that does not come off but it does 
have decent range in this arm and with due to transformation you can get a wrist swing in and out for some poses if he wants them to do a I'm gonna clamp you out of here boom, straight down on the head of a decept unwilling Decepticon but let's get his weapons off and let's have a close up look of the weapons so first of all you've got his sword his sword it's got some nice like Cybertronian decal on it I mean that might get some paint at some point and then he's got this like precision rifle which I think was an upgrade you got as you went through the game but this is his standard blaster I remember him having and as I said earlier these extensions should be yellow so I am going to be painting them after this review and the little rebate in the middle should be a red similar to that but yeah and as you can see the sword can go in either hand as you've seen it was in that hand but these only go onto here the gimmick you pull off the arm which doesn't come off easily and it isn't a ball eight to get off it comes off all right so there you go you can go bang bang pew pew bang bang and you can and it does fit blast effects it is compatible so there you go that goes off there or it's rolled out of view is actual proper one i mean there i like that because it looks like he's got his arm joint there so it, it looks really freaking awesome it's really good do you know what i mean again and as you saw he has storage so there you go and he is compatible with primes bits and bobs so they can swap weapons but I thought I brought it down but I must have left it in my display in my cabinet because I brought Prime down and oh yeah his Gerling his ion cannon is not with him so we're going to go on to articulation articulation he can do practically the full Van Damme if you bend his legs out your transformation he's got a hover Van Damme going on very painful he can kick forwards that far he can do that like he's just going damn i need an energy arm wipe i got the loo i got the runs so he does have thigh swivel he does have waist rotation he does have knee past 90 degrees and he does have a little bit of a rocker on the foot and the arm can go like that all the way around out that far bicep swivel and as I said it does have a wrist articulation due to transformation and the head is on a wiggly waggly go all the way around look up go squill look down and go mm -hmm, I can't see where are we from but yeah even though he's got this you know it packs up really well so for a slight comparison the other version of a war for Cybertron B from the Bumblebee movie as you can see he is considerably bigger than B127 but you know this one had a lot bigger backpack than this bad boy but this one had a cleaner front this one has a cleaner back so they're, diff they're good in different ways but there you go and then I'll bring in old Big Bot himself Big Red and there you go scale really well i could say if you haven't seen my review for that please feel free to check it out and the one for the upgrade kit but yeah so he is pretty cool pretty cool so we're going to get on to the transformation and i hope you'll pop back and join me yeah and welcome back <clears throat> after a lot of fiddling and finger manipulation and twisting and tugging and pulling my god it reminded me of my younger days back on a friday and saturday night hey <laughs> too much information boys and girls but um yeah this is him in his cybertronian war for cybertron vehicle mode apart from it doesn't tab in fully oh it does it's staying in now good it's a lovely bot i love it i love his car mode it's fiddly as a bit little bit fiddly to get him into it but look your tucks away really nicely and it has weapon storage so you can put the sword you go like that move it a bit further back 
see look you can put that under there then you can put his blaster on top and you can store the other one on his booty so there you go for weapon storage which is always a goodie so yeah he is awesome as his little car to be honest it's the lines to detail usually on some of these transformers that they release one mode or the other isn't great but i like both his alt mode and his robot mode i think they both equally are superb and true to the thing same as optimus's uh two modes i think they're fantastic apart from obviously i had to get the upgrade kit to cover his booty but other than that yeah really happy with it and he rolls as bumblebee should as you can see the wheels the detail and that front arm yeah and again that metallic gold just totally pops and he has no visible anything and he has the nice paint on the back lights he just looks freaking awesome very good very happy with this so i hope you join me for my final thoughts yeah hi guys and gals welcome back to my final thoughts it's for me it's a 10 out of 10 there's there's, there's no other way you can do it can't do him an injustice he's 10 out of 10 he's fantastic his paint's good his you know his weapons he comes with a couple of them it, his accessories you know they're just really really good like i say i'm gonna drop some paint onto this to make it really pop and make it look like it should from the game but other than that superb absolutely superb so i'm over the moon with this i hope you've enjoyed this this has been hotness reviewing the transformers wall for cybertron um studio series gamer edition number one deluxe class bumblebee and i hope you've enjoyed it take care till the next time this is hotness saying till all toy lovers are one see you later scooby-doo <laughs>